Hi, welcome to Feed House. I'm Louise and today we're going to be making this Czech crystal bracelet. So it features the macrame square knot and makes a lovely wrap bracelet. So to start we're going to take our length of leather and we're just going to thread on the button through the shank hole till it's in the middle of your leather cord. And then you're going to get a length of the Z-Long cord in your kit. And I'm taking about two meters. You need a really good length because you're going to be knotting it. So you're going to also thread this through the shank. And you're going to get your seal on cord so it's equal on either side of your button. And when those are in place, you're then going to secure your lever to, to a surface. So I'm using one of our BB beaders boards, but you can use a tea tray or um, a clipboard, anything that you can secure your lever to. So I'm using bulldog clips and as you can see we'll get the lever nice and taut on the board. And then we're going to get the C-long cord either side of the lever. And we're going to start macrameing square knots down the lever. So we're going to start by creating a D-shape on the right hand side. And we're going to go over the tail of the D with the other side of thread and then up and through under the lever and through the D and we're going to pull tight. And then we're going to swap to the other side and so we're going to make a C shape, go over the tail, up and under the lever and pull that tight. And then we're going to repeat sort of a D shape over the cord, up and under the lever and pull tight. And then with a C shape over the cord, under, and under the lever and up through. And we're just going to continue this till we get about a centimeter down the lever. So when we've got some way down our lever, we're going to start to add the cup chain. Now the first bit of this is a bit tricky, but once you've got it secured in place, it becomes much easier. So I'm just going to start, I'm going to get my knot nearly there. And then I'm just going to Get the cup chain in place. And so we're going to knot between the gap. So we've got two knots in place now. So that'll hold it a bit better. So there you can see it's starting to sit on top of the lever. And so once you've got this first bit over, that's the trickiest, you'll be on your way. So I'm just going to do between three and four knots on each 
run of the crystal. So one last knot on this one. We're just going to secure the crystal chain further down so it stops getting caught up. So let me just get that first lock done. So that's finished. So you've got one securely in place and I'm just going to line the crystal up on here and I'm going to carefully just use another bulldog clip. Carrying on from here we can now just go down the cord. And on to the next gap. So now we've got down to the length we require for our bracelet and I'm just going to take some snips and snip off this extra length. In fact I'll use it lighter snip. I'm just going to snip off the cup chain because I've got my the length I require and then we're just going to continue to macrame for a centimeter or two down down the lever just to finish it off. Now at this stage, it's sometimes worthwhile to just put some glue on the top of your lever and macrame onto this. So this will keep your macrame knots in place because this is going to be the end of your bracelet. And there might be some excess glue, but it'll just rub off. And then when you've reached the length you require, we're going to make a hole for the button to go through. Now you can either tie your ends off in knots or I'm going to zap them. You can also do this with a lighter, just be very careful. Cord. coming off and we have these zappers on our website so then we're just going to take another length of cord and go under the levers again and we're just going to macrame another section So again you want to do about a centimetre, half centimetre to a centimetre down your level. So then when you've got the length you require on your macrame, you just need to leave a hole big enough so that your button will fit through. So I can squeeze these up. To your desired hole size. Because that's going to go through there. So when you're happy 
with the whole size you've got you can put a bit more glue on your leather and push your macrame just over and again we're just going to snip the ends and zap them And then we're just going to take it off the board and tie a knot in the end. Up to your macrame section. And snip off, leaving a little tail, the excess lever. This will fasten to create a crystal bracelet. 